Hello guys, this is Tony here, and I am doing a post commentary of my tree farm that I built for Ground Fox today. Um, sorry, I am doing a post commentary, it might look a little weird, but it's just because I forgot to record my voice because of selecting the wrong audio drive, I mean input driver for microphones, so didn't end up recording my voice, but did in game sounds. Pretty sure it did, at least, and I hope it did. Um, Anyway, going on, I'm just trying to say as what I see on the screen. <laughs> um, this is my entire build. It was very compact and awfully, awfully compact. Yeah, awfully compact for what it does. Um, as you can see, I'm just looking up for some reason. I don't even remember. Um, oh, I'm looking at the block that up there that's kind of derped up. That block that's dirt up up there doesn't really do anything wrong, so I'm not gonna mess with it. I'm just gonna leave it because it really doesn't affect the rest of the entire build. I see, as you can see, um, it just kind of kind of stay out there. So I guess yeah, that's it. Um, as you can see, that's a conveyor belt. Right, this is the chamber. Um, that's what I call it. It's like the chamber where. All the tree gets grown in and then you know you know this is a conveyor belt and what I was just looking at a few seconds ago and basically it runs down the entire thing um, what you see over there is a 10 by 12 by 11 yeah uh, space for logs to be grown or pushed into and compacted there which gives us a lot of logs in a very small area and so basically you could just start from the top and cut your way down and get all those logs in um see so yeah 11 width 12 high down and then yeah two iron golden farms and i apologize again oh steven nice base and then the storage facility so again i'm sorry if the words don't go with the what you're looking at because i'm doing trying to make up freestyling words here while i'm going and watching the video um yeah that's basically it uh, i don't even know why i recorded so long now this is just like oh my god oh uh, noting i was probably saying that i died six times that it was uh from falling while building this and boy it was not fun i hope you guys really end up using this a lot because so much work to put, that was put in this and effort and time i just i just would hate to see it go to waste and no one use it so it is open for the entire server to use okay um let's see what am i doing here i'm looking at this chest stuff this is the stuff that i used for my resume oh my god you guys okay the resources it took to build this entire tree farm was just terrible it was like 237 uh, repeaters, which was just crazy, and a bunch of stuff. Right here, I'm explaining how you have to watch it lock. You hear it make that one noise, and then stops, and then you just grow it after it stops. Um, give it a second after it locks, and then you just watch how it destroys all the leaves and gives back some saplings and pushes your logs up to the other com uh, compactor. Um, oh, I think I know the thing derped up the block up there derped uh the piston i just heard a short circuit from a redstone torch but yeah anyway uh yeah seven hours put into this 6 p.m central standard time to now it is 1 a.m oh well it was 1 a.m when i finished and recording um but now it's 2 21 a.m so um yeah i guess that's it see what I'm explaining there is that once it gets pushed all the way down to the end of the full width of the compactor, it gets pushed down one, and basically that repeats until it hits all the way to the bottom of the 12 full height, um, and then which it activates a redstone that pushes the entire um, 10 by 12 by 1 uh, block of logs over, and yeah. Here I'm doing a jungle tree, and I'm getting saplings back for it. And basically, I go this in, through this entire thing explaining how all the trees work. And then with oak trees, you can get apples too. So, basically, um, 
yeah, like I said, this is free to use for everyone. I will provide bone meal. If not, if you can bring some, like if you have extra, just please bring some. We don't have an unlimited source, but I have enough because you only need one for per tree. And I have like four stacks, I think. But if you have extras and you'd like to bring some over, please do. Um, ooh, great big thanks to uh, Mosh and who can't remember. Sorry, it's like really late and I can't remember. Um, oh, Weird Muffin because he, they both gave me, uh, well, Mosh gave me a bunch of slime balls that I needed for the sticky pistons and I needed 168 sticky pistons for this build and um thank you to we're muffin for uh the l three stacks of logs two stacks of logs that he gave me to actually finish up my build um i needed the wood to get all those trap doors and a bunch of other stuff oh for the pistons too because you know pistons need wood to build and here's the oak tree Yeah, that's about it, I guess. Um, now I'm just trying to freaking cover what I don't even know. Sorry I don't sound too excited or, like, happy. I'm just tired and I'm trying to keep it quiet because it's 2 in the morning. I have school tomorrow and my family is asleep. So what I just showed here was a lever that opens a maintenance fix that basically allows that uh, gravel to be fixed if it is broken. And you just pull that, close the dirt block over it again, and yeah. Um, don't know what else to say, really. I'll tr what am I doing here? I'm trying to grow it again? I'm doing a jungle tree. Oh my god, I'm tired. But yeah, guys, um, yeah, for Ground Fox, this is welcome for you all to use. I hope you guys love it, and I hope it's a good present from me to you guys for letting me first join in. Alright, I guess that's it. This is Tony, signing out.